continue to achieve on the global stage and also stands as a living testament to our enduring aspirations and the promise of our nation's future. So permit me now to invite the Solicitor General of the Republic to convey vellum copies of the Presidential Charter for your sin. Solicitor General. Basi mweshmi rais vi sasa kiweza kuongea na wananchi hali kadhalika wanafunzi wanariada hawa kiweza kujumulishwa ndani ya historia hii inavyojulikana kwamba uwasinigishu is the city of champions kwa hivyo hii leo naweza kuwaona wanariada wetu wakiwa na tabasamu wamefurahi kabisa kwamba inshallah Mwenyezi Mungu akinemesha mashindano yatakayokuja yataandaliwa ndani ya Eldoret City na hali kadhalika mheshimiwa rais akiweza kulonga na wanafunzi hawa kuhakikishia kwamba kila jambo liko shwari hii leo anaweza kutia sahihi ama kuweka sahihi eneo hili la Eldoret kutoka kwenye manspa na kuweza pandishwa ngazi kuwa eneo yenye miji basi alivyokuwa amesema mwenzangu ni kwamba tuna miji mitano kianzia na jiji kuu la Nairobi Mombasa Kisumu Nakuru na mji wa tano hii leo ni Eldoret Tazama mheshimiwa rais anavyoweza kuhakikisha kwamba wanafunzi hawa wanapata tabasamu ya kuweza kufuatilia matukio yote atakayokuwa yanajiri siku ya leo Eldoret tusichoke tumshangilie mheshimiwa rais anavyoweza kuendelea kutia sahihi ama kuweka sahihi kwenye mkataba huu siku hii ya leo gavana aliweza kuwa mahali hapa akakubali kwamba tuweze kuhamisha eneo la Eldoret liweze kutoka kwenye manispa hadi maeneo ya miji hivi ni vieti vya mamlaka mheshimiwa rais akizidi kuweka sahihi yake wananchi wapo mmefurahia kuweza kupata siti tafadhali tumshangilie mheshimiwa rais kwa makofi wapi shangwe na vigelegele kwake mheshimiwa rais tuweze kusikia shangwe na vigelegele Eldoret thank you mheshimiwa rais anapoendelea kuweka sahihi kwenye vieti hivi vya mamlaka mkipenda mkataba wa mamlaka kwamba hii leo ama siku hii ya leo tutaweza kuondoa jiji hili la Eldoret jiji hili la Eldoret kwenye maeneo ya manispa na itaweza kuwa mmoja wapo ya miji mitano ya taifa letu la Kenya mna bahati sana wana Eldoret wapi shangwe na vigelegele basi fanfare tuweze kuwa tayari mheshimiwa rais akiweza kuweka nakala ya mwisho sahihi fanfare
Your Excellency, permit me now to invite you to execute the memento of the Presidential Proclamation on Confirming of City Status to the Municipality of Eldoret. Bendy Fanfare. Tumshangilie Mheshimiwa Rais anapoweka sahihi. Your Excellency, permit me now to invite you to affix the public seal of the Republic of Kenya on the vellum copies of the Presidential Proclamation on Confirmation of City Status to Adore Municipality. The same group will witness your excellency affix the public seal of the republic. Mheshimiwa Rais, sivi sasa akija kuweka muhuri rasmi wa taifa la Kenya kwenye mikataba ambayo ameweza kupiga sahihi ama kuweza kuweka sahihi akipiga muhuri wa kwanza. Tumshangilie Mheshimiwa Rais kwa makofi tafadhali. Muhori huu uliwezwa kupewa taifa la Kenya rasmi mwaka elfu moja mia tisa stini na tatu na ni moja wapo waviombo vya mamlaka ambavyo hulindwa na hali kadalika kupewa ulinzi mkali sana unavyo weza kuona hii leo uliweza kuletwa mali hapa na majeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya Tumshangilie Mheshimiwa Rais anapoendelea kuweza kuweka sahihi Wapi shangwe na vigelegele Eldoreti Aya, ndiyo hivo shangwe na vigelegele Mweshmiya Rais Anapoendelea kuweka muhuri rasmi wa taifa la Kenya Kwenye mkataba huu Eldoreti imeondoka rasmi kwenye maeneo ya manispa na hii leo inaingia kwenye orodha ya miji mikuu ya taifa la Kenya. Wapi shangwe na vigelegele? Eldoreti tusichoke. Ndiyo hivyo shangwe na vigelegele tuendele Tuendele na shangwe na vigelegele tusichoke Ni furaha ilioje kueza kuwa katika kati ya miji mitano ya taifa la Kenya Asante sana mwishmi Rais Asante sana mwishmiya Rais kwa kueza kueka sahihi na hali kadalika kueka muhuri rasmi wa taifa la Kenya kwenye mkataba huu. Asante sana pia wanafunzi wetu. Njoni tafadhali asante sana njoni kwa kueza kushudia hafla hii. Your Excellency, 
with with your kind and gracious intelligence sir, permit me to invite you sir to issue the presidential proclamation declaring Eldoret municipality a city may we all arise for his excellency the president Presidential Proclamation on the Confirmment of City Status of Eldoret. To all whom this presents shall come. Greetings. Whereas for diverse good causes and considerations, the people of Wazengishu County and those from neighboring counties are desirous of having the municipality of Eldoret elevated to the status of a city and whereas the people of Wazengishu through the board of municipality the county executive committee and the county assembly of Wazengishu placed on record their desire and the same was approved by the board of the municipality, the county executive committee, and the county assembly of Watson Gishu on 23rd May 2023, and was thereafter placed before the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. And whereas the Senate, having satisfied itself that all legal criteria had been satisfied and it would further Kenya's good that the municipality of Eldred be upgraded to a city and that on 5th December 2023, the Senate, by affirmative resolution, gave its approval to the application and recommendation that the municipality of Eldred be conferred with a city status. Now, therefore, in exercise of the powers conferred on the head of state and government under Section 7 of the Urban Areas and Cities Act and all other enabling provisions of law, I, Kiptirchir, William Samoei Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of Kenya's Defense Forces, do hereby ordain, declare, and direct that the municipality of Eldred has been conferred with city status. Now, henceforth, by dint of this presence and charter, may it be known that to all that Eldoret municipality shall have the status of a city, together with all such rank, powers, and responsibilities as are incidental to a city under law and its name is decreed to be the city of Eldoret. In testimony whereof I have caused this proclamation to be issued under the hand of the President and the public seal of the Republic on this, the 15th day of August, in the year of the Lord, 2024. Your Excellency, we may sit, take our seats. Your Excellency, you may retreat.
to your seat at the arena. At the arena, Your Excellency. At the arena, Your Excellency. At the arena, here. Yeah. To Ezekuketi, Mwishmi Awais, sana po chukua nafasi yake kwenye arena hii. Your Excellency. Asante sana. Asante wanaichi. Asante tutaimba. Tutawapa na fasi ya kweza kushangilia. Thank you. Your Excellency, with Eldoret having attained city status, permit me to invite His Excellency the Deputy President to come forward to the arena. The Cabinet Secretary responsible for urban development the governor was in Kishu County, and all the other county governors who are members of the North Rift Economic Block. Basi, sasa, naibu wa rais, pamoja na waziri, ya nayusika, na ustawishaji wa miji, governor wa jimbo, la wasingishu, jimbo la nandi, governor wa jimbo la transoia, Gavana wa Elgeo Marakwet Gavana wa Jimbo la Pokot Magaribi Na Gavana wa Jimbo la Baringo Wakiweza kuchukua na fasi zao kwenye jukua rasmi Your Excellency may hand a vellum copy of the proclamation to the Deputy President Solicitor General for Publication into Law, and to those that will be charged with the implementation of the Charter, that is Cabinet Secretary responsible for urban development, the Governor of Wazengishu County, as well as the Governors of Counties of Nandi, El Gayo Maraquet, Baringo, Bomet, Kericho, Turkana, West Pokot, Narok, Transzoia, Bungoma, Kakamega, Laikipia, and Saburu. Thereafter, I invite Your Excellency alongside all other leaders in the arena to display a ceremonial copy of the vellum. Your Excellency will display an open copy while the others will display a closed one. wakijiunga na sivi sasa governor wa jimbo la bungoma hali kadalika governor wa jimbo la kakamega na governor wa jimbo la vihiga all governors except the host governor are requested to retreat permit me your excellency to most gracious to invite the chairperson of the municipal board of Eldoret and secretary to the board and the county executive uh, committee member for urban planning to join the governor in receiving the confirmation instruments So, where are the government instruments? We convert to the chair, the governor. Yeah, these ones, yeah. The chairperson should give, be given a confirming of uh, the instrument. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are here. The flag of the city. Kweza pia kupokezwa bendera ya mji huu 
kama jiji hili la Eldoreti Shangwe na vigelegele The map of the city, the seal of the county, and the memento marking the evolution of the municipality of Eldoret in the city. The memento. So we, we can we can retreat to our seat, Your Excellency. Let's see, Mwishmiya Rice, a kipokezo ramani ya Eldoret City. Visasa weze kumpokeza mwenye kiti. Wait a minute. So, Your Excellency, you can retreat to your seat still at the arena and the rest of us to go back. Your Excellency, Eldoret City is the melting pot of all the communities from across uh, this vast land and nation. In a symbolic display of Kenya's fifth city centrality to all the neighboring counties, I invite the leadership of the North Rift Economic Bloc counties as well as other neighboring counties to receive they are symbolic key to the city of Eldoret in the following order. Nandi County. Followed by Elgeyo Maraquet. Steven Sang. Elgeyo Maraquet Followed by Baringo County Governor Elgeyo Maraquet Mwishmiwa Wesley Rotich Pokezwa Ufungu Na Mwishmiwa Rice Tumishangilie kwa Makofi Thank you. Gavana wa Baringo akija kupokea Gavana wa Jimbo la Baringo Benjamin Cheboy. Bomet County. Bomet County come closer. Followed by Kericho, followed by Durkana, followed by West Pokot, followed by Narok. Transoya, please come forward. Then Bungoma, then Kakamega, Laikipia, and Samburu. Bometu wakiweza kupokea kifungu chao. Tumshangilia kwa makofi. Kericho. Speaker wakiweza kupokea. I'm Mona Gavana Bungoma, Mwishmiwa Ken Lusaka, Kiweza Kupokea Fungu Wake. Gavana Wajimbo La Transoia, Mwishmiwa George Natembea. 
Tranzo here. Tranzo here. Kipokezwa hivi sasa Gavana wa Jimbo la Kakamega FCPA Fernandez Baraza akiweza kupokea funguo huu Asante sana Gavana wa West Pokot Mheshimiwa Simon Kachapin akiweza kupokea funguo huu Anafuata gavana wa Kajiado gavana Jem Joseph Olelenku gavana Joseph Olelenku akiweza chukua fungu wake anafuata gavana wa Jimbo la Vihiga mheshimiwa Wilba Otichilo akiweza pia kuweza kuchukua ufungu wake mahali hapa Yeah, Your Excellency, you may retreat to your seat at the arena still, Your Excellency. Bado kwa arena. Leo tunakazi. Tumshangilie mweshimi wa rais. Take your seat. Your Excellency, sir. Eldoret City is a culmination of years of an inspiring leadership in enterprise, agriculture, and industry, as steered through various visionary leaders. In honor of the immense contribution made by these visionary sons and daughters of Eldoret, I present the following persons for confirming of national honors in recognition of their distinguished and outstanding services rendered to the nation in various capacities and responsibilities as follows. Your Excellency, kindly step forward to award the medals to the persons read as below. The Order of the Burning Spear, the first class chief of the Order of the Burning Spear, Ms. Vivian Cheriot. Ms. Vivian Cheriot is a Kenyan long distance runner who represented Kenya in competitions including African Games, Commonwealth Games, Olympic Games in London. She is a three-time Diamond League champion in the record holder of 2,000 meter and 10,000 meter races in Kenya. Additionally, she won four world titles in 2011 and was crowned Lirius World Sportswoman of the Year. As a resident of Eldoret, uh, Eldoret City, Miss Cheriot is the very embodiment of the municipality's motto, City of Champions. Tumpigie makofi tafadhali. Second, okay, all on behalf, <laughs> perhaps, yeah. The first class chief of the order of the burning spear, the second person to get the award is the late Ezekiel Barnetun, posthumously. We request a representative of the family to come forward. The late Mr. Ezekiel Bargatuni was a philanthropist who has touched and meaningfully impacted lives of many citizens of Eldoret City. As a hardworking business person, has founded Bargatuni Plaza, a building which has since gained iconic and landmark status in Eldoret City. And despite his level of education, he has invested in education sector by taking part in the building of schools in Eldoret and the rest of the country. Let us put our hands together for him in absentia. To begin my coffee. The second class elder of the order of the burning spear to the late Mr. Paul Boyd.
The next class is the third class, Moran of the Order of the Burning Spear, MBS. Paul Boyd, the late Mr. Paul Boyd, was a passionate educationist. After a successful teaching career, he continued his contribution to the expansion of knowledge through building schools such as Capcom Primary, Sugoi Girls, and Paul Boyd High School. And due to his strong belief in the education, the key to empowerment of the people, Mr. Boyd designed all the schools he started as public schools in order to ensure wider access. He also contributed to the growth of Eldred City through agribusiness and his signature building, Kapkong House. Makofi Kwaketa Fadali. The third class, Moran of the Order of the Burning Spear, MBS, Mr. George Gibet. Next is the order of the Grand Warrior of Kenya, OGW, Dr. Lodia Prabudas Fasanji. Dr. Lodia Prabudas Fasanji is an established general medical practitioner within Eldred City, committed to uh, continuous improvement and excellence of healthcare delivery for the residents of the city. Having been a founder and member of Eldoret Hospital initially, known as Eldoret Nursing Home. Makofi Kwaketa Fadali. The next under that order is Mr. Joseph Lesieux. Mayor Joseph Lesieux, the longest serving mayor of Eldoret Municipality, was the brainchild behind the physical planning of Eldoret City. Additionally, through his leadership in the municipality, the Chebara water supply was established and ensure the thousands of residents in Eldred municipality have water in their taps. A representative in absentia. To begin a coffee in absentia. Thank you. The next is Mr. George Kibrono Kili. Mr. George Kiprono Kili is a successful large-scale farmer in Wasingishu County who has embraced modern technology, the art of conservation, agriculture, through minimum tillage and crop rotation in all his farming operations, which has immensely increased the yields. Nation's total harvest of maize and wheat, this has cemented the place of Eldoret Municipality as a key urban center within agriculture, which is the backbone of our nation's economy. Tumpigi Makofi. The next is Mr. Moses Tanui. Mr. Moses Tanui, the town time Boston Marathon, the two time uh, Boston Marathon and renowned athlete with a decade of experience is the founder and director of Eldoret City Marathon. The marathon which takes place annually within Eldoret municipality and is one of the events which has cemented the place of the municipality as the city of champions. It brings together experienced amateur and as well as upcoming athletes to come together and inspire each other. Tumpigie Makofi Tafadali. Moses Tanui.
The next is Mr. Kamau Miyako. Mr. Kamau Miyako is a business person with interest in hospitality sector within Eldoret Municipality. He is the founder of the Miyako Group of Hotels and Miyako House within the municipality. The hotels have been directed have directed their energy to improving the standards and ratings of the hospitality sector as the municipality sought to attain a city status. Next we shall appreciate him in absentia. Yes. yes. Next is the late Mr. Olo Owino. The late Mayor Olo Owino was the founder of the Opera House within the municipality of Eldoret. As a business person, he created several opportunities for the residents of the municipality. We appreciate him in absentia. Makofi Kwake. The next is Barnabas Arab Kibrono, no, uh, popularly known as Lodwa. Mr. Barnabas Arab Kiprono is a business person with interest in the real estate sector within Eldoret Municipality. He has, by his hand, built Eldoret a block after another, inspiring a new brand of real estate. Let us appreciate him in absentia. The next category is Head of States Combination Civil Civilian Division, Mr. Stephen Maraba. Mr. Stephen Maraba is a dedicated business person and a philanthropist expressing care and spreading generosity and compassion to those within the uh, outside of Eldoret municipality. He is the founder of Valley Hotel within the municipality of Eldoret. The hotel is key contributor to the service provision industry in Eldoret and has contributed to the scaling up of services in the municipality towards its goal of attaining a city status. Let us appreciate Stephen Maraba. The next is Mr. Malak, the late Malakwen Arab Sisiwa in absentia. The late Mr. Malakwen Arab Sisiwa was a dedicated business person within Eldoret Municipality. He founded the Bismillahi Langut House within the municipality and contributed to providing the space for hosting the ever increasing business activities within the municipality. Let us appreciate him in absentia. The next is Mr. Kimwatan Kabuliot, the late, the late. The next is Mr. Kimwatan Kibuliot. The late Mr. Kimwatan Kibuliot was a business person within Eldoret Municipality. He founded the Kibuliot House within the municipality, which bolstered the real estate status of the municipality and increasing the space for conducting business activity. Let us appreciate Mr. Kimwatan Kibuliot. The next is the late Miss Isabella Abura. The late Miss Isabella Abura was a former councillor within Eldoret Municipality. She dedicated her time and energy to contributing to good governance of the affairs of the municipality. She was also a philanthropist and business person who owned a famous chicken spot within the municipality, often acting as a get-together venue for many within the municipality and those traveling to get a taste of the delicacies at the spot. Let us appreciate Isabella Abura in absence. The next 
is Mr. Ngugi Kitonga. The late Mr. Ngugi Kitonga was a business person within Eldred Municipality. He founded the Sosiani House, which takes its name from the Sosiani River, which runs through Eldred Town. The Sosiani House added the real estate profile of the municipality. Let us appreciate him in absentia. The next is the late Edward Limo. The late Mr. Edward Limo was a staunch Christian who was part of a Christian revival movement known as Tukutenderesa, which encouraged citizens to lead spiritual lives. Through his dedication and encouragement of others, Mr. Limo demonstrated the solemn place of religion of our nation and the consequential role of religious organizations as pillars of spiritual guidance and socio-economic development by often filling gaps where state support may be limited. Let us appreciate um, Edward Limo. The next is Victorina Rotich. Ms. Victorina Rotich is a prominent large-scale farmer and business person within Eldred Municipality and the wider Wasingishu County. She is well known for the establishment of the grain aggregation business which has cushioned farmers within the municipality. She off takes produce from small-scale farmers for onward supply to the National Cereals and Produce Board at the Eldred Depot. Let us appreciate Victoria Rotich. Victorina Rotich. The next is Mr. Ajay Shah. The Shah family, as led by the late Rupa Ben A. Shah, were prominent and visionary industrialists. They established Kennet Kenya Limited in Eldoret, a company that has since grown from a small enterprise with one knitting machine to hundreds of modern machines today. Kenya, uh, in, in Kenya and East Africa. While the company started with just over 10 employees, today it has the largest employer in North Rift region of Kenya with over 2,000 employees. For close to 60 years, the company has been churning hundreds of thousands of garments for schools, corporates, wholesalers and retailers within Eldoret Municipality and the rest of the country. In 2006, the company earned the acclaimed Kenya Revenue Authority Distinguished Taxpayers Award. Let's appreciate Ajay Shah on behalf of the Shah family. Next is the late Elisha Kari Bushenei. The late Mr. Elisha Kari Bussenei was an accomplished trader since his early days in 1962. He helped spur business activities within Eldred Municipality. Additionally, he was a member of the Eldred Municipality Lands Control Board that encouraged natives to buy land from departing white settlers for farming and development. In this role, Mr. Bussenei uh, was instrumental in empowering the people within Eldred Municipality and the nation at large to play an active role in utilizing our nation's resources for self-governance and development. He also encouraged agricultural activities as a member of the District Agricultural Committee representing Eldred South in 1965. Let's appreciate the late Alicia Kari Bussenei. He is represented currently here by his son to receive the award on his behalf. Thank you. The next is the late Paul Kamau. The late Mr. Paul Kamau was a founder of Paul's Bakery within Eldoret Municipality. Today, the bakery supplies freshly baked bread and other baked goods to the entire municipality. 
Apart from running Paul's Bakery, Mr. Kamau engaged in philanthropy as a way to give back to the community. Let us appreciate Mr. Paul Kamau, who is represented by Charles Kamau, his son. Tumbige Makofi. Last but not least, Mr. Wycliffe Matuli Okwaro. Mr. Wycliffe Okwaro is the longest serving staff of Eldred Municipality, having served for 43 years since 8th October 1981. Over these years, Mr. Okwaro has tirelessly dedicated his time and energy to ensuring that the Eldred Municipality serves the interest of the people within the municipality. A hearty a hand clap for Mr. Wycliffe Mutali Okwaro. Your Excellency, sir, you may kindly retreat to the presidential dais. Thank you, Excellency. Your Excellency, sir, with the city of Eldoret newly inaugurated, Permit me, sir, to most graciously hand over the program back to the Master of Ceremonies to progress it from here. I thank you, Your Excellency. Let us put our hands together for the Head of Public Service, Honorable Felix Koske, for a job wonderfully done. Your Excellency, at this point, would like to have consecration ceremony that is going to be performed by two leaders from this region who are going to consecrate and pray for the city. Ah, <laughs> City and yo, the dog in your Rurani, one dojin, the one you thought, the boy money, excellent Doctor Rudo, the job wow, the young man like your boy, where the boy ship, how over Ruri, Je voulais filer un Pass. Sergalin, you're a good 
Tinagaliet, Tigala Tinay, Migaliet, Wondo Jim Preston and York, Doctor William Bruto, Emanala, Emat, Indo Jim Preston, Abunavara, Nagara, and Mami Gato, Bunala Bunay, Bunara, and Mami Garingar, Rocky, Bunala Bunay, Bunara, and Mami Kay Kaynaji, Bunala Bunay. Kita oleh Wendy kau tetar bau nanti ni. Iman ada iman. Wagi boy siap. Kau lagi ada jamar ganggenya. Aja oleh aja aja. Magi maja lamba kau siap. Iman ada iman. Kima jaga lihat. Iman ada iman. Kima jaga tebena jolu. Iman ada iman. Arab restoran yang jauh. Indo aja ni emani. Waktu waktu ngai tu tu siap kiri magili. Tadi ibu restoran kan am. Iman Allah Iman. When you got to go to the to see what you got Iman Allah Iman. Imagine you work in one way. I'm using the new way to go to the other way. Iman Allah Iman. City to know the better way. What do you mean? Come on and enjoy the little. For me, I'll get you to me. Me, but I'll get you to me. Me, but I'll get you to me. Jangan mengarah ini kabel red. Kau jauh barat red, jauh mana jauh? Kau betinga wasing kis itu kul. Kau jauh barat red, jauh mana jauh? Coba itu ka. Kau jauh barat red, jauh mana jauh? Kau jauh negel jira city ni jauh. Iman ya lah iman. Arab ni ada ganda ni ada tapi mohon jaga tetai. Ida tetai lah tetai. Tetai lah tetai. Indo ya rabu, indo ya lah indo. Indo ya lah indo. Apa yang kita lakukan di Idaah lagi tay, Idaah lagi tay, Iman lagi Iman, Iman lagi Iman, Sera lagi Sera, Sera lagi Sera, King lagi King. Hebu tuwa shukuru tena waze ambao wa meombea Eldoret City. Asante ni sana. Your Excellency, sir, at this point, before we get to the speeches, allow me to invite the Principal Secretary for Immigration and Citizen, uh, Citizen Services, Professor Julius Bitok, to introduce a brief history of Eldoret through a cultural skit. Welcome, Balozi. Your Excellency, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. Your Excellency, First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Honorable Rikati Gashagwa. Our Governor for Wasingishu, Governor Jonathan B. Distinguished guests, all protocol observed. Praise the Lord. Allow me, Excellency, to take you through a brief journey through the rich history of Eldoret, showcasing its transformation from a first savanna grassland to its current status as a thriving cosmopolitan city. Eldoret history begins with the legendary figures of two brothers. Arab Marigi from the Nandi and Arab Kimuron from the Keio, who established a special meeting point, a special altar called Kapkiai along the Soshani River in the 18th century, and later known as Eldred by the Maasai, meaning a safe place or rather a place of safety dated 1817. The town's early years were marked by the arrival of the brutal Boer settlers and British colonizers from South Africa who shaped its development amidst conflict and change. In 1912, Your Excellency, Eldoret was officially gazetted as a municipality, bringing formal governance to this area. 
The name Sisibo, derived from the local dialect, became synonymous with a vibrant community that emerged. Sisibo was coined locally from the farm number 64, which was 64 miles from the then only Londiani railway station. The construction of Cotab site in 1959, which now houses the governor's office, marked a significant milestone in Eldoret's urbanization. Notably, every household living in Wareng then were forced to contribute a cow each for the construction of court outside. Your Excellency, in conclusion, today, Eldoret stands proud as a cosmopolitan city of champions representing resilience and growth. It is my pleasure, Excellency, to introduce an extraordinary team of hustlers of talented young Kenyans who will bring this incredible history to life. Excellencies, sir, ladies and gentlemen, join me in putting our hands together to invite this dramatic story of Eldoret City dating between 1870 and 2024. Thank you very much and welcome team. At the heart of a vast savanna, where the landscape stretches beneath a beautiful sky, a peaceful coexistence exists. A meandering Sosiani river slices through its terrain, its crystal clear water, a testament of beauty and nature. Along the riverbanks, the cranbus glide effortlessly. Nearby, a herd of antelopes are grazing contentedly. The giraffes are stretching their necks in order to reach the highest branches. And below the trees, the leopards are moving keenly, scanning the environment for opportunity and safety. In the distance, the roaring lion rests in the shade. What a balance of nature. All these nondescript features are landmarks of the ill wasin Kishu, as it will come to be known as Wasingishu years later. Here, the Sirikwa, like Kipiak, and Naivasha people thrived, tending to their cattle and living harmoniously with the land. 1800 was the year. The Maasai started to move in. They intended to use this land as their grazing field. But this led to a very fierce battle between the Maasai and the Nandi. Blood was shed, lives were lost, people were displaced. But eventually, the Nandi emerged victorious, pushing the Maasai all the way down to Transmara. Then in came the British, following the land regulation of 1899, which allowed the white settlers to exploit the indigenous people fertile land. But of course, the Nandi were not going to take this sitting down. Baba. this will later on lead to a fully blooded war between the British and the Nandi, which lasted for a period of 10 years. But the British subdued the Nandi, pushing them down 
to the Nandi reserves. Then in came the Boers. They arrived at our coastal shores, got onto trains, and down the railway line they drove up to Londiani. Using wagon wheels, they drove down the savannah. It is said that one of their wagon wheels got stuck in the mud and dropped one of their safe containing many of their valuables. Silver, gold, coins, them them. It was difficult to put it back. So they had to construct a simple matope structure around it to act as a bank, which was later named in 1912 the Standard Bank of South Africa Limited with its first manager, J.M. Shaw. The arrival of the Boers was met by conflict and tension by the indigenous people. But due to the advanced weaponry and determined mindset, the Boers displaced many local communities. And they settled in rather quick. They established their farm right here at the Wasingishu Plateau and they designated it a simple numerical label, Farm 64. Since it was 64 miles from Londiani where there was a railway headquarters. But now here comes the twist. The pronunciation of the word 64 was an uphill task to the locals. Go ahead, Dugu. We live Pam Pam ne. Pam 64. Ada ada Pam 64. C C C 64. Oh, C C bo. Go go C C bo. So to them it ended up being Pam 64. So stay with us as we journey through time. Witnessing the triumphs and struggles of those who once called this land home. In 1910, a boy by the name Willie Van Art established the first post office since he could not make a living out of the farm. And thus the township started. He started receiving applications for business plots on the farm and it had to be given a name. The locals were summoned by the governor, Sir P.C. Giroud, in order to give it a name. It was problematic to get one. There were many suggestions. Dirod Forte, in honor of the first governor. Uh -huh, yes. We name it Sirikwa. Yes, those were the first inhabitants of this land. Oh, so we name it after them. Wow, that's a good one. Yes. Masai. Unasamaji. Twitter. And Tore. Meaning the Stony River. Oh, well, that's creative. Yes. We name it Badokidog. Why should we name it Bado Kidogo? Oh, like you need more time in order to get a long-lasting name. Oh, that's quite a suggestion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Masai's carried the day with Entore, but meaning the stony river, since the riverbed of the Sosiani River is said to be very stony. But now, this to our white friends became Eldare. But the governor was curious why every local word ended with a consonant T. So he suggested that a consonant T be added so that it can be comfortable for the locals to pronounce it. But now, <laughs> during the official gazette of January 1st, 1912, a typing error occurred and it was misspelled to Eldoret. The official gazette noticed January 1st, 1912, the administrative station on the Wasingishu Plateau, formerly known as Farm 64, will for the future be styled Eldoret. Now Eldoret became the new promised land to the Boers. And just like any other place, the economic transition began. And later on, we had mayors. From the first black mayor, Councillor A. N. Olo, to the last black mayor, W. K. Rono. Exactly. And well, if you thought the story about Eldoret was done, then think again. In 1966, just three years after independence, nature gave us a bouncing baby boy. Fast forward, he became a CU leader at a school right here in Eldoret. <laughs> Nundoroto School, which is the current day Wareng High School, proceeded to capture bad boys for his air levels. <laughs> then became a youth leader in 1992. <laughs> then the member of parliament Eldoret North. <laughs> then to a minister. Then to a deputy president. And now to the president of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> and today, in accordance with the 2010 constitution, Eldoret has just received a charter 
as the fifth city of Kenya by the fifth president of Kenya. His Excellency, Dr. William Samoei Arab Ruto. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the city of Champion. Able to appear my coffee to Fadali Tena, wonderful skit right there, giving us the history of Eldoret City. Your Excellency, sir, with your permission, allow me now to transition to where we are going to have few speeches, starting with the governor of Wasingishu County, His Excellency Dr. Jonathan B, who will speak as the newly uh, the newest owner of a city, which is Eldoret City. Tumpigie makofi tafadhali akija, Gavana Daktari Jonathan B. Tumpigie makofi. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, President Dr. William Samuel Ruto, Your Excellency the First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto, Your Excellency Deputy President, Honorable Rikati Kashakwa, Speaker of the National Assembly, Speaker of the Senate and the Senators who are here, Cabinet Secretaries, my fellow Governors, Principal Secretaries, Chairperson of State Corporations, Delegation from the counties, eminent residents of Eldoret, the First Lady of Wasingishu County, and the county executive members, and all of us and the Wanainji. Jamge. Ale Jamge. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, today marks a historic moment in our nation history as we gather to witness the confirmation of city status and the grant of charter to the municipality of Eldoret. On behalf of the residents of Eldoret and the wider Wasingishu region, I express our deepest gratitude to you, Mr. President, for officiating this monumental location. This event is not just a milestone for Eldoret, it is a defining chapter in Kenya's history, uh, Kenya's story, as we welcome our fifth city conferred by the 50th President of the Republic of Kenya. And Your Excellency, we had a slogan that Tare Kumina Tano, Rais Watano, Mji Watano, Baada Ya Satano. Tutakuwa na city na imefanyika hivo. The atmosphere today reflects the collective excitement, joy, and pride shared by the people of Western Gishu and the North Rift region. Mr. President, August 15, 2024 will forever be etched in Kenya's history as the day of Eldoret ascend as the day Eldoret ascended with the status of the next city. This achievement marks the beginning of new opportunities and prosperity for all who live, work, and do business in Eldoret. The economic hub of Eldoret uh, of North Rift uh, Economic Block. Ladies and gentlemen, Eldoret's journey is one of the transformation. It began as a humble savanna inhabited by indigenous communities and wildlife. That in 1908, a group of settlers seeking a fresh start after the Anglo-Boer War arrived and named this land Farm of Stone, inspired by its stony riverbed. From the Sirikwa people to the Wasingishu Maasai, the Nandi, and later the Boers who referred to it as Mile 64, Eldoret's evolution has been extraordinary. Known locally as Sisifo has been dramatized by the story here, this town has grown into a vibrant city, a melting pot of cultures and regional business hub serving the north and western parts of Kenya. This transformation is a testament to the resilience, vision, determination of the people of this region. Your Excellency. The county government of Wasingishu has worked closely 
with the national government, aligning our efforts with the bottom-up economic agenda uh, called uh, economic transformation agenda. Mr. President, allow me to highlight some of our achievements. One, in line with the digital economy, the CCPO pay system has revolutionized revenue collection, enabling us to achieve a record of Kenya shillings 1.4 billion in our own source revenue. On healthcare, Mr. President, the healthcare innovation, we have pioneered drone services at Huruma Hub, revolutionizing the delivery of healthcare and through rapid transport, transportation of medical supplies and test results. And on trade and investment, Your Excellency, my vision is to enhance business and employment opportunities by attracting investors. We are planning an international investment conference to showcase the opportunities in Eldoret and the North Rift Economic Bloc this year, and it will be an honor to invite you as the chief guest, Your Excellency. On healthcare improvement, the recent commissioning of Mamarejo Ruta Maternity Hospital and the expanded services in rural areas have significantly improved healthcare in our county. I was whispering to Mamarejo that at that hospital so far since you commissioned it, they have delivered more than 100 babies. I don't know the speed at which the children are coming from wherever. <clears throat> Agricultural advancement, Your Excellency, in collaboration with the national government, we are supporting over 40,000 farmers with mechanized farming and high-value crops such as coffee, avocado, macadamia, and biretram. And Your Excellency, on affordable housing, we want to thank you for launching the one in Kidiwa and Pioneer, and we have handed over the site of AMS Kimumu area your Excellency, all these constructions are ongoing for housing units in Kidiwa, AMS, and Pioneer Estates, in line with your housing agenda. Your Excellency, industrial growth is very important to us. The County Aggregation Industrial Park in Moiben, nearing completion, and the export processing zone at Terunya, as well as the ultra-modern market, which you launch, is progressing well. Ladies and gentlemen, these achievements under, underscore Eldoret's transformation into a vibrant modern city, a hub of agriculture, education, sports, commerce, medical services, and culture. Flying our athletics champions this morning to grace this occasion was not only an act of great honor, Your Excellency, but also a recognition of distinctive patriotism and sacrifice that has brought pride and respect to our country, county, and city. And Your Excellency, we brand ourselves through sports, and we are called the City of Champions. We have three counties that we share the name Champions, Nandi County as the source, Eldoret, and Wasingishu as the, the city, and then Elgeo Marakwet as the home of Champions. We shall salute our or at least the true champions who bring pride and respect to our country and city. Eldoret is indeed the city of champions. And I would like also, Your Excellency, to acknowledge the contribution of our predecessors, both pre- and post-independence municipal leaders, and the first governor of Western Gishu, Jackson Mandago, who is our senator now. Their dedication laid the foundation of the city we celebrate today. We also remember and appreciate posthumously the other mayors who served our city with distinction. May God raise their souls in peace. Uh, but here today, Your Excellency, there are those who have gone and stepped out of time, but we still have others who are still around. When I mention your name, please stand so that the President will see you. His Worship William Rono. He was a mayor in this town. I don't know whether he's around. His Worship Samuel Ruto. The Honorable Samuel Ruta, thank you very much. His Worship Jonah Mayo. If you are around, you stand. His Worship Josiah Magut. Who lingered along in the stage? Where is Josiah Magut? And then His Worship Joseph Lachaud. May we all give a round of applause as they stand. Please begin our coffee, the Badali. Mr. President, Eldoret is a farmer's town, and was in Gishu is the breadbasket of Kenya. I pay special tribute to our farmers who have worked tirelessly to secure our country's food supply. 
sustain their families and uphold the dignity of the livelihood. Eldoret is a unique city where you can invest, live, and even retire. With some of the best climatic conditions in the world, we warmly welcome you to experience our greatest city. Like El Dorado, as described in Poltaire Candide in 1759, Eldoret is a city of equality and prosperity, a city of ideal climate, safety, and harmony, with community that embodies inclusivity and contentment. The journey to Eldoret city status has been collective effort. I extend my deepest gratitude to the municipality board for steering this process to its celebration conclusion or celebratory conclusion. The ad hoc committee on the confirmation of the city status, the Western Kishu County Assembly led by the speaker, Philip Muige, and the Senate Committee on Devolution and Intergovernmental Relations worked tirelessly to ensure due process was followed. We owe sincere thanks to you, Mr. President, for granting the charter to the city of Eldoret. Your support has been crucial in reaching in uh, this milestone. This new status enhances our identity and pride, creating visibility and opening new opportunities for residents and the youth investors, farmers, businesses, scholars, educators, medical practitioners to thrive in our city. Mr. President, as we celebrate this new status, we are aware of challenges and responsibilities ahead. With Eldoret's growth rate of 5.2% per annum, we anticipate increasing pressure on our infrastructure. The need for expanded infrastructural development is paramount. In this regard, I call on the Commission on Revenue Allocation, CRA, to consider adopting a new funding model specifically tailored for cities particularly those with significant rural areas like Wasingishu, Nakuru, and Kisumu. Your Excellency, allow me to outline my vision uh, for Eldoret. We need a 100-year city master plan because when you go to Europe, for example, England, you will find that there was a university that was founded way back in 10th century, and it is still there up to today. It is almost 900 years old. I wish that we have a master plan that goes beyond 100 years to world-class sports and recreational facilities, including stadia, art, and theater facilities, and creative arts centers. Your Excellency, I know you are doing something about Kipchaka Stadium. You will tell the nation because we really trust it should come to, you know, to realize its completion during your tenure. We need a state-of-the-art museum, making it a facility that preserves our rich history. Improved road infra infrastructure, specifically the dwelling of key road corridors. Your Excellency, we need the expansion of international airport and uh, to accommodate large aircraft and facility, facilitate trade. Advanced medical centers, and you've told us about the new uh, Kiblombe MTRA that is coming up. We are looking forward to it. We need a seamless intercity connectivity by road and by rail. Enhance water, sewerage, green infrastructure, and Your Excellency, if you ask a poor man to tell you the needs, he will tell you very many. Let me stop there. But solid waste management is key in our town. Finally, as we, as we embark on this exciting new chapter, I sincerely thank you, Your Excellency President, for the immense support. Live long, the city of Eldoret, Kongoi Missing, Pick up Eldoret. Major Alej Assam President Aleji Mingalia Negigama King Kale Onginigis Jerob Major Assam, Your Excellency Ale Yagitaja Nairobi Age Motun Wilk Jun Gunigis Olevka Amu Mawiti Gigan, Kawaito, Amagagan Nijaga, Imite, Agamite, Agamiga and Doiga Puroni. So, Nginigis Jerob. Got to give some loan to get a Nairobi, I get a Gisumu, I get a Juntuli, and give some Magian loan to Baburoni, Senior will want to tell about die, who are going to want to be a Jota. Are you excellent? I am my good in the magazine to Lakini, Magigani, give me a game of first world, we are given a lake, I want in your excellency, Ole, in your each a mega. In your fifth president, Nebaburoni, Nigisin Guroni, 
our one in fifty city, our test time only ke lengongo. So as I wind up, Dugiangu, I have the governors who are around here. Allow me just to introduce them, or there is a way you will do it. Okay, let me have all our governors to stand up. My colleague governors, please stand up. Um, Fine, I'm getting some instruction from above. And the instruction should be followed carefully. Allow me to have uh, our council of, uh, I mean our governors, my colleague governors to stand up. And then they say you will wave, but uh, it is good to mention that we have Governor Sang of Nandi. Uh, we have Governor uh, Anyang Nyong, a professor from Kisumu Dala. We have Professor Badilish, Dr. Badilisha from Nyandarwa. We have Governor Olelengu from Kajiado. We have Governor, neighboring Governor here, Natembea. Natembea from Transoya. We have Governor Kachapin from West Pokot and Governor Wesley Rotij from, um, from Elgeo Marakwet. You also have Governor Lusaka. Uh, Governor Lusaka is here, our ne good neighbor. Governor Fernandez Barasa our immediate neighbor here from Kakamega, Governor Otichilo from Piga is also here. Uh, Governor Parchok from Bomet and Governor of Baringo County, Dugetu uh, Cheboy, Makofi Kwao. I would have wished that Nyonga would say something because he's the chair of Urban, but my brother will guide me. Asante sana, Kongoi missing Mungu Awabariki. Thank you very much, Governor. Let's give the Governor a round of applause. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, at this point, allow me to call on the Cabinet Secretary of for Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development, Honorable Alice Wahome, who will in turn invite His Excellency the Deputy President. To begin, Makofi Tafadali, Karibu. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency the Deputy President, Your Excellency Mamaru Rachel, Excellency the Governor for this county, the city of Eldoret, Excellency Governors, all protocols observed. Your Excellency, in the interest of time, uh, I'll be very brief. First, Your Excellency, is to thank you as the Cabinet Secretary for Urban Development, Housing and Urban Development, for being here to give us the charter for this city. And I recognize, Your Excellency, that this is a very auspicious moment. Eldoret Hamjambo. Wanainji Hamjambo. Mambo. Mumeskia Sasa, you are the city, the newest city, yeah. the favorite city. Yeah. The first one is Nairobi City. You are the favorite city. Then let me tell you a few things about your city and how we shall continue working as a city. Quickly, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride that I stand here before you today on this historic occasion as we confer city status, Your Excellency leading the, trip, the, the troop for this moment. This moment, Your Excellency, marks a significant milestone in the journey of this vibrant municipality that has now gained a new status of a city. Your Excellency, the conferment of a city status is not merely a title that we have gained today but a recognition of the readiness and capability of Eldoret to embrace the responsibilities and opportunities that come with this new status. As the ministry responsible for lands, physical planning, public works and urban development, it is our duty to ensure that this transformation that has occurred today is guided by robust legal frameworks and sound urban planning. Your Excellency, urban development in Kenya 
is guided by a robust set of legal frameworks designed to ensure sustainable, organized, inclusive growth. Key among this, Your Excellency, is the one you have cited, the Urban Areas and Cities Act 2011, and Kipchumba was uh, bragging there, my colleague Kipchumba, that he's, uh, he's single-heartedly actually drafted the law. He also brought an amendment in 2019, Makofi Kwa Kipchumba Murkomen, which sets the criteria and governance structures for urban areas and cities, and national urban development policy, which then also provides strategic direction for managing urbanization and regional development. Additionally, Your Excellency, the Physical Planning Act governs the preparation and implementation of land use plans. This is something, Your Excellency, that governors need to take very seriously. Your Excellency, the frameworks provide legal covenants that ensure every town aspiring to be to gain city status undergoes a legal and transparent process. The aim is to guarantee the transformation into a city, that transformation into a city is not only a reflection of population growth, because you have to gain the necessary 250,000 population, but also that there is economic vibrancy, but also planning strategically. We want to have sustainable development in this city, among other cities, inclusive governance that includes the participation of the residents of the new city. Together, these frameworks then will guide our new city. Your Excellency, Erodolet, I, I wish to confirm that before arriving at today, Your Excellency, the department led by Principal Secretary Hinga, with the guidance of Your Excellency, went through vibrous, rigorous vetting to gain this status. So I want to confirm that the city, under the guidance and leadership of governor, acquired this status through the front door. Eldoret lies into a city is a testament to the power of collaboration and the national and county, between both national and county governments, and we want to confirm that this is a, a principle that by minister, the ministry will continue to hold dear. As Eldoret steps into the new role of a city, it will serve as a model of what can be achieved, and of course we'll have to catch up with the other four cities. Therefore, Governor, you have a partner in the ministry, you have a partner in His Excellency, the President, and we do agree, Your Excellency, the cities will require special arrangement in terms of, uh, of funding so that they can deal with the real issues that these people intend to achieve. I want to finalize and say, the people of this city, you will have then to understand that you need to be serious partners with your governor. But the governor must also take up the responsibility as a county government to provide water and sanitation, provide access roads, ensure in partnership with the national government security for business is secured. Ensure that we have electricity connection, therefore working with the national government. Your Excellency, I take it very seriously that this city, so that I can conclude, is the home of the faith president of the Republic of Kenya. Therefore, I want to confirm to the residents that we as a ministry, with your support, shall put our best foot forward. We will be in top gear to ensure that these residents get what a city should provide. 
na mtakia aba mema but you must agree to be partners with your government to produce revenue to produce revenue because one of the conditions for the county for the city to be a a city is that there will be serious revenue generation and i think for us to get the obviously to get your services be good partners with the national government and the county government it is now my pleasure and humble duty to invite his excellency the deputy president of the republic of kenya our only one ligi g makofi naduru ya ligi g your excellency karibu sana Asante. Your Excellency, Dr. William Ruto, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces. Her Excellency, our First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto. The Governor of Uasin Gishu County, His Excellency, Jonathan B., all Governors present, Cabinet Secretaries, Principal Secretaries, Senators, Members of Parliament, Members of County Assemblies, Watu wa city ya Eldoret Amjambu. Eldoret Hoi. Nyinyi sasa ndio watu ya city. Mumesalimiwa na muti ya village. Si hata mimi nimefika hapa kwa city. Your excellency before I invite you to address the people of Eldoret and this great country, I think it's only fair that we have a governor who stays in another city. Najua sasa mambo ya, ya city na city inaingiana. I think it's only fair to mwalike governor wa Kisumu city. The professor Anyangnyongo aseme machache alafu ndio ni mwalike rais eh, professor karibu. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Sumai Ruto, Her Excellency Rachel Ruto, Governors, Presidents here today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. President, I would just like to thank the people who prepared this ceremony. It has been fantastic. And Mr. President, it makes me jealous I wonder whether through your powers we could uh, uh, consecrate Kisumu as a city afresh. <laughs> and Mr. President, I realize that the keys were very important here. Next time I come, I'll come with my own key. <laughs> it is immense pleasure, Mr. President, to speak on behalf of the Council of Governors and the Chairman of the Council of Governors today on this very joyous occasion to witness the entry into the status of city, the city of Eldred, to join us in the leagues of cities, including Mombasa, Nairobi, Nakuru, Kisuma, now Eldred. Welcome to the league. As we gather here today, Mr. President, you know we become cities not simply for the name, but for what it stands for. Eldoret is lucky, it is already, it's already a city of champions, but being a city today, you will have to be a city that engages the community very effectively in building a city. Which means, Mr. President, putting aside resources, both local and national, to build this great city. I know, Mr. President, that we have problems with the, those who control resources in the Treasury, but with you as a friend, we have somebody who will fight for us. And, Mr. President, I've known you as a friend for a long time, and I know where to press the button when you need the resources. So I'll be bothering you very soon. And let me assure you that you have the greetings and uh, and uh, welcome of the people of Kisumu to visit us any time 
that you are in this region, but today I realize it's late so that I may not invite you to Kisumu, but next time we'll end, uh, end early enough for you to stop for a minute or two in our great city of Kisumu. Mr. President, I thank you. Asante sana kabla sija kualika mheshimiwa rais ukinikubalia ni muhimu ni wajulishe hao watu wenye hii sete wageni wala wako kwa hii sete si ndio na hao wageni msikue na haraka ya kutoka ukikaa seti ni kukaa na ile pesa mko nayo mtumie hapa kabla ya kwenda nyumbani muachie hao watu wenye sete tuko na CSS wetu uh, tuko na CS wa Youth and Sports the honorable Kipchumba Mukomen Makofi of course tuko na CS Alice wa Home mpigeni Makofi pia tuko na uh, PSS wengi wako hapa ambassador Bitok wa pale Citizen Affairs pigeni Makofi PS Remodo Molo of, Int of Internal Security pigeni Makofi PS Belio Kipsang of Education pigia Makofi PS Mariro of Defense pigia Makofi PS Terry Biker of Devolution pigia Makofi PS Charles Hinga of uh, Housing pigia Makofi PS Kipto wa Pale National Treasury pigia Makofi PS Mangenyi wa Hustlers Fund pigia Makofi PS Omanyang wa Public Works pigia Makofi uh, tuko pia na nani mwingine hapo tuko na PS Rono wa agriculture pigia makofi PS Tom wa sports pigia makofi PS Oleria Rono wa parliamentary affairs pigia makofi and uh, set and uh, solicitor general Shadrach Bonse pigia makofi pia tuko na viongozi wengi tuko na the speaker of the national assembly the right honorable Moses Wetangula Papa wa Roma pigia makofi the speaker of the senate Amazon Kingi pigia makofi mjumbe wa Kapseret Oscar Suri pigia makofi mjumbe wa KSS CPA Julius Ruto makofi mheshimiwa DK MP for Soy pigia makofi Professor Felix Balto of Moiben pigia makofi Mheshimiwa Waina Bokoi, Mheshimiwa Chopkonga Makofi, the honorable Mwangi Kijuri, mjumbe wa Laikipia East, the honorable Kagombe, mjumbe Gatundu South, the honorable Patrick Munene, Chuka Igambangombe, pigia makofi, the honorable Chororot, MP Kipkelion East, pigia makofi, Mheshimiwa Adams, Mheshimiwa Marquet, na Mheshimiwa Ruko Bere North. Mheshimiwa KJ Dagoreti South. Hawa ndio waheshimiwa ambaye wamefika hapa pia tuko na mheshimiwa Marian Ketani Waldai. Mheshimiwa Rais mimi ni kusema pongezi kwa wakaaji wa hii seti ya Doret. Mimi napenda hii seti na tembeanga hapa asubuhi kusalimiana na hao watu ya seti lakini sasa nitakuwa nikiwatolea kofia kwa sababu ni watu ya sete. Na watu ya sete ni watu ya kupewa heshima. Ya pili, mheshimiwa rais, tunataka kukubali ya kwamba mambo ya ukulima ni ya muhimu. Hii seti ya Eldoret imejengwa na wakulima na pesa ya ukulima. Kwa hivyo ni mzuri tunaheshimu wakulima. Kwa sababu wamejenga hii seti mpaka hapa hali imefika. Mimi kwa hii maneno ya seti nimeenda hasara kidogo kwa sababu nilisuba nilikuwa nimepanga ni nunue plot hapa nifanye biashara nikasubaa kidogo sasa with this city proclamation bei ya plot itapanda sasa hapo nimeenda hasara kidogo lakini nitajua vile nitafanya sasa mheshimiwa rais sisi tutakupongeza pia wewe sasa ukitoka Nairobi city ukija nyumbani pia unakuja city sasa mimi ndio umeniwacha kwa matala lakini ni sawa tu Sasa wewe umejipanga huko seti na Robi huko seti hapa mambo yako imekaa mzuri. Watu wa Eldoret tutaendelea kumuunga rais mkono. Munaendelea kumuombea rais wetu. Sisi watu yake ya mkono kazi yetu ni kumsaidia na kumuunga mkono. Na mambo ya uchumi 
ilikuwa imetutatiza imeanza kurudi laini pole pole na ndio mmeona rais ameanza kutembea kwa mambo ya maendeleo na mambo itakuwa sawa bora tukuwe na imani sisi ni watu ya kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu tuombe rais wetu tuombe serikali yetu tuombe nchi yetu na mambo yetu itakaa mzuri sana kwa hivyo mimi nimefurahi sana kwa hiyo maneno ya seti nasema pongezi na pia tumebarikiwa the champions are here wa watu ya Olympic wamekuja wametubariki now this is a city of champions na tumefurahi pia wamefika hapa kwa hii sherehe ya maana sana na hii ni sherehe ya kufurahia sana kwa hivyo hata sisi hatuendi tuko tu area leo jioni jioni tutebe kwa mitaa tuone vile mnasherekea kama mna kitu tunaweza kukula na kukunywa tutashukuru tukae kae hapa ama twende nyumbani tukae umuumu kwa area tutabetembe Muko na maneno? Yeah. Mutajua vile tutakaa hapa? Yeah. Mumetupagia vizuri? Yeah. Basi hatutoki kwa seti si tuko hapa mpaka kesho kesho kutwa tutakaa hapa kwa seti. Kwa hivyo mimi ni jukumu langu sasa kwa heshima kubwa kuuliza nyinyi nyote tumukaribishe kwa shangwe na vigelegele kiongozi wetu Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya President William Samoe Ruto. Asanteni sana tafadhali tunaweza keti chini. The great people of Watengishu County. The residents of Eldoret City. Ndugu viongozi wote wenzangu wananchi hamjambo. Hamjambo tena. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Chamgei Omune. We are here gathered to participate in and witness an event of singular importance and the culmination of more than a century of growth, not just in Eldred Town, but in Wasingishu and the entire North Rift region. Eldoret is one of Kenya's oldest towns and the site of events and institutions of tremendous historical significance, not only for this county, but also for our nation. An important facet of Kenya's political and economic history is encapsulated in the urban center famously named 64, because of plot number 64 on which stood the Eldred railway station. We all know the role played by Uganda Railway in our country's economic, political, and cultural history and the dramatic changes our communities underwent after the advent of colonial settlement. As a result of its early promise as a major economic hub in East Africa, Eldoret attracted traders, workers, and professionals from far and wide who settled here, contributed to it, its economic growth, and built a cosmopolitan population whose diversity has been the secret ingredient to Eldoret's vigor and perpetual dynamism. This place bears visible imprints of the legacy of people from India South Africa and Britain, as well as every Kenyan community who settled here and made it their beloved home. Over nearly a century, Eldoret has undergone dramatic transformation, growing from a sleepy farming center to a bustling metropolis that is the face of Kenya, a home for all and a city of the future. It has established itself as a recognized hub for serious investment in agro-industrial and agribusiness, biomedical and medical trade and commerce, tourism and hospitality, sporting and entertainment, and finance 
and technology. This event affords us an occasion to reflect on and celebrate the positive impact of devolution. In just one decade, Wasingishu County took over the Eldoret Municipality and Wareng County Council, overseeing a transformation that has made a compelling case for Eldoret to finally join Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, and Nakuru as Kenya's fifth city. Devolution has enabled Wazingishu to harness the immense potential of agriculturally rich and resource-endowed hinterland throughout the North Rift and to catalyze the ambition and energy of Eldoret's business community to deliver impressive growth. Eldoret ascends to city status at a time when 50% of humanity lives and works in urban centers, making the 21st century an urban century. As the city of champions, it is essential that Eldoret focuses on the great opportunities and significant challenges ahead, not only because the future is urban, but also because it has what it takes to emerge as the ultimate city of the future. Today, therefore, is also our moment to reflect on the effort we have made and the commitment and determination it will take to make Eldred a smart, livable city that will thrive like a champion in a complex and rapidly changing present and future. We need to harness our people's initiatives, dedication and industry to leverage technology and transform this city and county's potential to provide residents with a high quality urban experience while offering investors, professionals and entrepreneurs an attractive environment to produce competitively. The answer to this question lies in the strategic framework laid down by the county through its planning, policy, and regulatory, as well as other mechanisms that must deliver a safe, orderly, and ecologically sustainable and efficient city that promotes the dignity and well-being of residents and communities. The new city must also foster an economic environment which provides opportunities and a business climate that rewards enterprises which bring their investment into this great town. The performance of any urban area depends on the degree of focus with which its leadership and professionals engage with a critical matter of spatial and urban planning, as this is the only means of achieving orderly functional and efficient cities. It is also greatly determined by the level of success in implementing devolution, establishing effective county government structures, and the efficiency of resource mobilization and expenditure by county governments. The forthcoming regulations under the Urban Areas and Cities Act are intended to further enhance the governance and management of urban areas. At the same time, ongoing partnerships and collaborations have enabled us to make progress in identifying and addressing critical priorities related to urban governance, infrastructure development, and the development of mechanisms to promote development and sustainability. I have in mind such initiatives as the Kenya Urban Government, commonly known as, known as KENAP, and the Kenya Urban Support Program, Phase 2, which represents a cumulative investment of US dollars 1.35 billion aimed at creating livable cities. And I want to declare that Eldoret will be among the beneficiaries of this fund. Eldoret will benefit significantly from these initiatives, which focus on infrastructural investment, such as waste management, connectivity, and social infrastructure. Similarly, Eldoret is also benefiting from the various national government projects, including the ongoing construction of Eldoret Central Market, the whole infrastructure around housing. And I am happy to say that 
close to 10,000 housing units are currently underway, under construction in Eldoret City, from Kidiwa to Bayonia to Kimumu and many other areas. And I want to encourage residents of Wasingishu County that it is time for us to stop the land fragmentation that is going on so that we can save land, agricultural land for agricultural productivity, so that we can ensure that we have food security in our country. I want to encourage farmers. I want to encourage the residents of Wasingishu. As has been said, this town was built by farmers. It was built by business people. It was built by professionals. But that charge was laid by farmers. We, for us to sustain the city of Eldoret, farming must continue to be at the heart of the growth of this Wasingishu County. Yesterday, when I saw farmers come with their tractors into the city, I was not around. I would have also come with my tractor to the city of this, to this city. Because as a farmer, we have built this city with our hard work as farmers. This and many other programs and projects are part of our agenda to reignite the creative, productive, and competitive energy in the city of champions, giving Kenyans the best chance of winning the race to the future. At the same time, we must remain mindful of the need to address urban vulnerabilities to climate. This is why the Department of Housing and Urban Development has identified 580 hotspots where we will urgently implement climate resilient programs aimed at protecting the urban vulnerable from the adverse impacts of climate change. We intend to roll out this program in the next one month. I have been following with great interest the work that has prepared Eldred for city status. And I am satisfied that the leadership, professional commitment, and collaborative spirit invested in the proceedings are a sign of good things to come for the City of Champions. The presence of our Olympic champions in this meeting, having arrived just yesterday, is a signal that in fact, this indeed will be the City of Champions. It is important that we provide a conducive environment for everyone, from the county assembly and executive to professionals in national county governments, business community, investors and the residents of Eldred and Wasingishu to give their best and give Kenya a city worthy of a gold medal. What you have done so far is commendable and you must now proceed together to the next higher step. I commend the people of Wasingishu County, members of Wasingishu County Assembly and executive members, as well as the business and investment community professionals and every worker and every business person for their invaluable support and countless hours of effort to make this transition possible. At a very personal level, I am a very proud person today that this city that I grew up around and I have two occasions that are firmly ingrained in my mind. The first is when I came in 1981, January, to Wareng High School. And my father, Daniel Kipruto Kirongosi Samoe, bought for me a pair of shoes in the streets of Eldoret. It was my first pair of shoe, and it is very memorable that that city 
is today. That town today is a city. I am also reminded again of another occasion when in 1985, 1984, sorry, in October, when I worked for the first time as a clerk after Form 4 in Kapkong Farm for the late Paul Boyd, and he paid me 300 shillings. It was my first wage. And I came to Eldred Town at Hughes Building, for those of you who know where Hughes Building used to be. And I bought, I bought for myself a pair of jeans with 137 shillings of my hard-earned wage. It is a moment I remember that it was my first time to walk into a shop and buy a brand new pair of jeans. That is the city, that is the town that today has graduated after immense hard work, commitment, drive by farmers, by business people, by sportsmen and women who have contributed significantly to the growth of this city. And today, we celebrate the city of Eldoret. <laughs> Finally, I am reminded, because this is my hometown, that just behind here, when I first ran for a member of parliament, I didn't have a house. And it was a big problem because many people said this man will run away once we elect him because we, know, we don't know where to find him. <laughs> so my supporters told me, you must get a house. So I, I got a house. In fact, it belonged to one athlete. So I rented the house. But my supporters said, this man has bought this house. And he has not just bought the house. He has bought the house together with the dogs that were in that house. <laughs> just to signify how uh, uh, I had, you know, the ability to be around. And the rest is history. So I am truly proud to be part of this ceremony. Even if I wasn't president, I would have attended this meeting because it is such an important meeting for the city that I call home. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I've digressed. It's an emotional moment for me. Uh, I rarely do this, but this is home. It is now my singular honor and present duty by the authority vested in me by Section 12 of the Urban Areas and Cities Act to officially confer city status upon the city of Eldoret. Congratulations. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless our great country, Kenya. Asante Nisana. Bongezi. Thank you, Excellency. Let's give him another round of applause as we now stand up to wind up with the national anthem. Naomba sote tuweze kusimama tafadhali ili tumalize na wimbo wa taifa. Wimbo wa taifa.
Naomba tubaki mahali tulipo tukimruhusu rais aweze kutoka kwa starehe zake. Kindly let's maintain our positions as we allow His Excellency to exit at his pleasure.